Taikon at the Santa Clara Convention Center in Silicon Valley. Taikon is one of the largest entrepreneur conferences in the world. The agenda for this year's conference is Internet of Things, Data Economy, and Cloud Security. Taikon, the largest entrepreneur conference in the world, aims at nurturing generations of entrepreneurship and wealth creation through mentoring and networking. Taikon is Thai's flagship event and it has been ranked as one of the top entrepreneurial conferences in the world along with the World Economic Forum. Organizing it clearly is exciting, having so many volunteers pull it together, having an amazing featured speakers that really brings about a unique experience and each year we kind of sweat, we stress, thinking how can we beat the last year? And each year we turn out a bigger Taikon than ever before. The collective power of Thai's charter member network has created several billion dollars in economic growth and a wealth of jobs. With a team of over 300 volunteers this year, Taikon has grown exponentially. With more than 210 quality speakers, over 4,000 attendees and the largest number of sponsorships to date, bringing together billions of dollars in overall equity. I think it's very exhilarating to be here because uh, you see the wealth of innovators, entrepreneurs, venture capitalists and also very exciting people from all over the world. I think the participation from India has skyrocketed. Uh, three states have sent their delegations. So I think that's, a, that's the big difference. Thai has been evolving itself for the years and this year program is totally different from last year and the times that I used to come here and actually sit and listen to. That's what's exciting about Thai and then meeting with all the and networking with all the people uh, which is what this industry and entrepreneurship is all about. I think one of the key things that I'm here is I'm looking for uh, smart com entrepreneurs who can help us be more successful in our business. We have invested a lot uh, in building a technology center and in, in our headquarters and uh, now we are working with other smaller companies helping them incubate so that they can help grow with us as uh, as new uh, startups. This is a very exciting uh, place to be and it's quite an honor and I can see the energy levels, the buzz of activity and it seems that being an entrepreneur is no longer a choice and it's almost kind of becoming a uh, compulsive thing. Today, given the technology, technology is a big, uh, what you call, disruptor which has broken down barriers of entrepreneurship. Today there is no longer any arbitrage, be it wealth arbitrage, be it information arbitrage and this is the age of entrepreneurship and a platform like Thai is kind of fueling the, that. The overall agenda for this conference is Internet of Things, Data Economy, Cloud Security, Healthcare, Global and Social Entrepreneurship, Oil and Gas, Online Education, Youth and Made in India. There is so much opportunity from a technology perspective and Silicon Valley needs to become aware of it. They're aware of it, but how do you bridge the gap? And literally, our track today was just highly attended, absolutely exciting. People are just laughing and really getting a lot of value. And it's about how do you bridge from the technology we have in the Bay Area and make it a bit more pointed towards what the oil and gas sector needs. All we have to do is excite the people, let their creativity get started, and then it will happen. That is the whole impetus here. If you prescribe to an entrepreneur, either I don't call them an entrepreneur, I call them a businessman. We are not looking to prescribe to these folks, we are looking to provide them the problem and then say, okay, now go find us the solution. So hopefully some breakthroughs will emerge. I'm very, very positive about it. The fact that technology has advanced so fast, advanced so fast, it's possible to solve the grand challenges of humanity. 
the problems that have long plagued us, everything from health, food, energy, education, we now have the, the tools necessary to solve these problems on a grand scale. We can eradicate poverty, we can eradicate disease, we can eradicate hunger, we can educate the world's masses, we can do all of these things which we always dreamed about. The, 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 future, you know, the future that we used to dream about as children is within our reach right now. And it's a really a matter of using our energy in a positive way and focusing on, on, on building good things with this technology. It's really a matter of understanding the technologies, understanding the intersection of technologies, and then combining them in new ways and, and creating startups that do all these, all these things. There's a lot of discussion from industry experts about picking the right software, critical metrics of success, and promising startups that are already making waves. This is a place to understand where the opportunities are and meet the people interested in entering and growing in a field. There is a lot of uh, kind of uh, great keynotes that have happened, uh, which I think have set the direction of thought for like, you know, what are the going to be things that are going to come and what are the going kind of new products and services that are going to be launched that will influence us. Being an IT entrepreneur myself, being in this organization, addressing so many entrepreneurs, it's exciting. I really really couldn't believe it. It's, it's great. It's amazing. We have been following India as the model for any IT company, but now looking at this conference, we also should look not just at IT vendors, but this kind of conference in which you can foster and promote entrepreneurs globally. Vicky, for the last 10 years, has been working on a particular program which is, which is done with, with Lockheed Martin and, and the U.S. Uh, uh, government and, of course, uh, the Department of Science and Technology in, in India. And over this, we have now actually taken technologies from Indian research bodies, government bodies, and converted them into companies. We've done about 900 of these. 50 of them have come here today. So this is a process. All the people that get chosen and then get handheld through the process, we then also give them exposure by bringing them to the U.S. and letting them be part of, say, Tycon here, so that they can... Uh, learn how the whole ecosystem of, of uh, innovation works out here and more important how they can possibly connect with, with uh, you know angel capital, in angel funding, venture capital, the whole work. So this is all part of a process. They do the same thing in India. We also help them with Indian uh, financing bodies. So it's, it's a two-way process. It happens and, and uh, it's, it's very exciting to actually be in this space because this is where really the future is. The conference brings forth for participants different aspects of planning, operational challenges of cloud infrastructure, business and technical challenges of migrating services to the cloud, and whether or not cloud security is keeping up with advances in compute, storage and networking. We just talked about the Lean Startup uh, uh, to the audience at Tycon, which is a great mix of entrepreneurs, corporate uh, uh, interest, and investors as well. And it turns out the Lean Startup is applicable to all of them, is that for the first time we can actually do evidence-based entrepreneurship. That is, we can actually now talk to 100 uh, to 150 customers in 10 weeks and actually give investors and uh, our funders, potential VCs or corporate management, real data about uh, whether this is worth pursuing. Uh, we are part of a delegation from India where NASCOM brings the top 40 promising companies every year on a Silicon Valley trip. So we are part of the trip here, uh, glad to be part of the trip. We visited most of the companies and investors here okay. and now part of the program is also spending two days here at uh, Tycon. All right. And what, is, what are some of the things that you've learned or enjoyed uh, seeing around here? Right, it's, uh, it's the, um, essentially the excitement in the air about startups, technology, the interactions and also uh, the willingness of people to essentially help you out um, and, and talk about it as well. So all these elements seem to be, uh, you know, just make it a very exciting place to be uh, in uh, for a, a young startup like ours. Entrepreneurs at Tycon 2015 get an opportunity to explore critical questions in the cloud and security domain and learn from industry experts. Mentor Connect is an event at Ty, uh, which runs at Tycon to bring mentors and entrepreneurs together physically, whereas Mentor Cloud is an online platform 
to let that conversations continue online just like how we talk with friends and uh, you know our acquaintances mentor cloud makes those conversations with mentors online so that these relationships that they are building at icon need not stop after the icon ends they can continue and and really accelerate the entrepreneurial success there's a lot of talk about machine learning artificial intelligence and so forth but the some of the most interesting things that i've heard are around ethics and privacy and and transgressions of personal sort of uh, boundaries that some of these companies are now actually right at the border of at the conference successful cloud and security entrepreneurs also discussed their journey how they overcame critical challenges and help their businesses reach a global scale the huge influx of startups has resulted in fierce competition for customers employees and funding it's a very uh, vibrant community i i actually been on panels at tycon before so uh, and obviously i'm an entrepreneur so i very much enjoy meeting other entrepreneurs and a lot of innovations a lot of uh, you know fresh blood and you know very dynamic and vivid environment so this is really the biggest takeaway for me as such seeing a great community of multinational and entrepreneurs coming together here in silicon valley tycon has become sort of this um, a model which we can we seem to replicate every year and do better and better and so i think um, you know this year is no different we have done better than last year last year was no different we did better than the year before um, both in terms of the number of people that show up in terms of sponsorship which really gets the conference going and more so in terms of adding value to the entrepreneurial ecosystem when i was young it, you know it was really a matter of uh, being a doctor engineer or a businessman those are the three options that you had our children can now become entrepreneurs they can become researchers and scientists they can really start trying to eradicate specific diseases they can take on big projects in ways that were unimaginable to us before you know, the key difference is in a large company a large company is an execution machine which is a fancy word for i do the same thing repeatedly because i figured out who my customers are my channel i know my competitors i know what the customers want that's called product market fit so i can tell engineering in a startup you think you do you know that's my vision but the data says you're hallucinating and and so we used to just kind of raise money on a couple slides and investors would say well that sounds good well nowadays we this lean startup process just allows us to change that that kind of faith based you know it was a religious activity now we could turn it into fact based very inexpensively and very quickly doesn't mean we're we're right but it means we have a ton more data a ton more information than we used to get after years of building the product we only used to figure out whether we were wrong after we shipped now we'd know way before and what this does is give us multiple shots at the goal that is with the same amount of money and resources that we could change the product multiple times to match what the customer needs are Entrepreneurs can explore what makes health tech one of the hottest areas to invest in through discussions on the 3Ds data diagnostics and digital devices technology and innovation is happening at a very rapid pace uh, it's being adopted by our customers also equally you know fast now as all these things are happening there is a there is a problem that evolves around it which is you know people want to go from public cloud i mean private cloud to public cloud they have a control over everything that they do today to they are going towards unknown territories as they do this they don't necessarily have control over how their services are delivered and what is service assurance you know what are they going to expect by way of service level agreements and stuff like that i think that's certainly you know something everybody has to watch out for and start planning ahead and that's also a place for entrepreneurs uh, to be innovative it's been a great uh, experience to come in and uh, talk to you know different uh, people from various industries uh but working towards the same goal it's a great opportunity for uh uh for firms like us who have a global presence uh, but given that uh, this is the heart of silicon valley a lot of action that happens here uh, we've not been uh, very focused in terms of our presence and visibility and branding in the bay area so uh, for us uh, specifically i think it's a great opportunity for uh, for the 
world here to know that USG Global has a presence uh, in the Bay Area, number one. Number two, I think in terms of uh, what's happening in the technology landscape today, uh, we feel it's a great opportunity for us to understand through kind of various exhibits, right, whether it's Cisco and companies like Cisco, which are the backbone of the Internet of Things revolution, uh, to services companies like us, I think it gives us a great, great platform to network and understand what we could do collaboratively in this changing and transforming technology landscape. Some of the topics in the entrepreneurship track include questions addressing hiring and employee retention in a competitive startup environment, funding options and differentiating companies to consumers, with participants learning about cutting-edge tools that improve medical diagnosis and how analytics and big data transform the way we approach health. We took technology out of Sandia National Labs in Lawrence Livermore and developed that further to come up with a test which can be used throughout the world in villages, in India, in Africa, in China, etc. Starting off with a breast cancer test, which is at about $2 to $5 maximum per patient. We are partnering with companies in India and China and uh, other places to develop uh, tests for cardiac, for uh, liver cancer, lung cancer, uh, cervical infectious diseases. So we've got various partnerships underway right now. We got selected as the top Thai 50 uh, finalists, so we are here to present uh, our company. And uh, I've been coming to Thaikan for the last 10 plus years. I'm very proud of uh, to be part of Thai community. They've done a lot for the entrepreneurs. I've been coming to Thaikan for 18 years, uh, first as an entrepreneur, as a volunteer, then as an entrepreneur, and uh, as a charter member, and now as a venture capitalist. So it's been it's been a very good experience throughout. The best part of the conference is actually meeting the people within, within the hallway. Uh, so most of my stuff happens uh, you know, outside the panels, uh, you know, on, on, you know, on the floors uh, in the restaurants. So I think that's where uh, some of the best conversations that I've found to be happening. Seeing so much of excitement around, like you know, with the entrepreneurs who are trying to launch the products, and then like you know, there's a lot of uh, 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 involvement from VCs and other vendors who support uh, startups. So all this sounds like you know, we are in a very exciting times. It's been awesome. It's exciting. There's a lot of buzz here, a lot of uh, energy here, uh, which is all good because the Silicon Valley needs energy because energy feeds entrepreneurs and the ecosystem. This conference is really all about innovation. So we're really bringing together all kinds of people with great ideas um, that are interested in changing the world and, and bringing their ideas to that world. And I think that's always an exciting thing to be a part of. I hope you enjoyed highlights of Tycon 2015. If you missed it this year, we'll see you again next year at Tycon 2016.